If your agency is looking for monthly reporting software, you're going to love what I'm about to teach in this video. We used to waste a lot of money on monthly reporting until I learned how to use Google Data Studio from Ryan Stewart. I built an SEO report I use for my clients and I'm going to let you copy it completely free and even show you how to rebrand it for your agency. I'll take you through every step of this on a Google account that's never used Google Data Studio before. So by the time you finish watching this video, you'll have a fully functioning SEO report you can share with your clients every single month completely free. Okay, so if we first sign into Google, I say I'm going to use an account that's never used Google Data Studio before. Uh, I'm going to say agree. So now if you click on the link in the video description, it's going to take you through to a page like this where you can actually go through to the report. You see where it says here, click here. If you click on that link, now that you're signed in, when you click on this, you'll be able to copy this report out. So, as you can see, I'm signed in right here, and I'm going to click on this little copy icon. And then I'm going to say get started. I'm going to click on this and say accept. And then I'm going to say no thank you to all of these things. And then say finished. And then you actually have to go through and do the whole thing again, so click on this copy. And now what you need to do, so make sure that the Google account that you've signed in with also has the um, Google Analytics and Google Search Console data as well. So it's all on the, all through one account because otherwise you ain't going to be able to pull the data through. Um, so where it's got here Search Console data site, you want to replace this with your own Search Console. So you click on this, what, this uh, box here and then create new data source. And then you want to scroll down to where it says Search Console and click Authorize. And then you should see your sites here. So I've only got one in this account at the moment because this is an account I've set up just to show you guys how to use this. So if you click on that and then click on Site Impression for the first one and then click Connect. And then click Add to Report. And then if you then go and do the same thing but for Google Analytics, so click on Create New Data Source and click on Google Analytics authorize and then select your account and then click on connect and then click on the add to report and then finally we need to import the second search console I don't know why it's split up into two it just is so go search console click on your account and then you want to do URL impression for this second one and then click connect and then add to report and then click on copy report and then you might need to click it again something weird that happens when you first use these accounts for some reason you have to keep clicking on things twice but now you have the the report in your account so you can actually make changes to this now and do whatever you want to it um, so the first thing you'll probably want to do is change the name up here so you may want to just you know go ahead and get rid of that and then you may want to replace your uh, the website up here to your website. So um, you might want to put yourwebsite.com. If when you paste in your website address, it loses the format in here, all you need to do is click on here and then change this to uh, 18 pixels like that, and it will usually line back up. Um, then you want to click on this icon right here with the uh, the logo, sorry. And you want to click on data, and then you want to click right here where it says image file and then replace that with your logo Sim really easy to do and everything else in here is going to pull in by default now the age and gender there might be an issue with if um, you haven't got demographics set in analytics or for some reason if you don't have remarketing set nowadays it won't do this as well so you need to make sure those things are on if you're not getting data in here like I'm not on this account um, and then the only other thing you need to change is where it says top non-branded search queries in Google. If you sing, like, click on this once, this table, and then scroll down over here until you see where it says query filter, click on this pencil, and then you want to change where it says on top marketing right here. You want to change that to your company name. So after you finish that, you want to click on save. And that's all you need to do. You can now share this with your clients or even have it automatically email them every single month. You may want to customise things a bit to make it pull in data that's important to you, but let me just point out that this includes everything we was previously paying a lot of money for and more. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.